Welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this instructional video, we will be reviewing how to calculate the hydraulic diameter and working through a few examples. I hope you find it useful. Okay, so the definition of hydraulic diameter is equal to 4 times the flow area divided by the wetted perimeter. Why do we need hydraulic diameter? Well, if all of our conduits or pipes were circular, we wouldn't. Uh, but some of them are rectangular and other geometries. And uh, we need a diameter to calculate the Reynolds number. So sometimes you just see the Reynolds number using the diameter, but in reality you are in fact using the uh, hydraulic diameter. Okay, so here's our uh, example for our flow direction. This is a pipe and the flow is going to be going into the pipe. However, we're going to be taking a two-dimensional uh, view and it'll just be uh, as such. And for all these examples, we will be calculating the hydraulic diameter of the region shaded in blue. Okay, so the first example, somewhat trivial, is a uh, hydraulic diameter of a circular pipe, diameter capital D. So there's our equation for hydraulic diameter. And the flow area of the circle is pi d squared over 4. Wetted perimeter is pi d. Substitute that into the equation and simplify. And not surprisingly, we get that the hydraulic diameter of a circle is, in fact, the diameter. All right. Okay, so now let's uh, move on to a square of length, each side of length D. And the uh, flow area is D squared. The wetted perimeter is 4 times D. Plugging that into our uh, hydraulic diameter equation and simplifying. Once again, we get that the hydraulic diameter of a perfect square is the uh, length of one side in this example d okay so let's move on to something a little bit more interesting hopefully that's a go on with a general rectangle of width w height h and so in this case the flow area is h times w and the wetted perimeter is 2 times h plus 2 times w plugging that into our equation we get uh, this expression and well that can be simplified so let's do that and so this is the equation for uh, the hydraulic diameter of a rectangle uh, however there are some cases where we could simplify this and that case would be is when the width is much much greater than the height and i did do this in my uh, other instructional video involving infinite plates if that is the case the hydraulic diameter can simplify uh, as shown and the hydraulic diameter can be uh, accurately approximated as two times the height. All right. Next is an equilateral triangle. And the area for a triangle is one half times the base times the height. In this example, the base is little d, the side of which are the three sides of the equilateral triangle. And the height from geometry and trigonometry is d times the square root of three over two. If plugging that into our equation for the flow area, we get that the flow area is equal to d squared times square root of 3 over 4. The wetted perimeter is 3 times d. Plugging that into our equation for hydraulic diameter and simplifying, we get that the hydraulic diameter is equal to d over the square root of 3. Okay, something a little bit more interesting. Say we have a rectangular duct uh, that's carrying water, and inside the uh, duct there are three tubes or pipes. Uh, carrying uh, some other uh, fluid and we want to know to calculate the hydraulic diameter of the uh, region shaded in blue so once again we're going to use our equation for hydraulic diameter and the algebra gets kind of complex so in this example we are going to actually work a numerical answer and so in this example we're going to say that uh, the height of the rectangle is two inches the width is six inches and the diameter of each of the three tubes is one inch so with that, let's calculate the uh, flow area. Well, the flow area is the entire flow area of the rectangle minus the area of each of the three tubes. And so this is given by this equation where we have the flow area of the entire rectangle, and we subtract from that uh, the uh, flow area of the three uh, internal tubes. And plug it in the values and units, we get that the flow area is 9.64 inches squared. Okay, so now let's work on the wetted perimeter. This is going to be similar, yeah, but different, in that the wetted perimeter includes the wetted perimeter of the entire rectangle, plus you have to add in the wetted perimeter of each of the three tubes. 
So this equation gives that. We have the uh, flow rate, the wetted perimeter for the entire rectangle, and then the uh, wetted perimeter for each of the tubes is pi d, and so we add on 3 times pi d to get the total wetted perimeter, and that comes out to be 25.42 inches. Now I use my equation for hydraulic diameter, plug in the values and the units, and I get the hydraulic diameter is equal to 1.52 inches. All right, so that wraps up this instructional video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.